If you are a Nearpod user, you can add your voice to a variety of different slide types that are available in Nearpod, such as traditional slides, draw it slides, polls, quizzes, and open-ended. For example, the first slide in my Nearpod here is a traditional slide with no moving content on it. To edit it, I'm going to double click on it and you're going to see in a traditional slide at the bottom you have an option that says audio. When you click on audio there are two options, audio file and audio recorder. Audio file allows you to upload a audio file you already have saved to your computer, whereas audio recorder allows you to record right on the fly on this slide. So if we click on audio recorder, we are going to get an option at the bottom of this slide that looks like a little microphone. In order to begin recording, you're going to click on the microphone. Welcome to Nearpod 101. You'll notice you don't get any countdown or anything like that. As soon as you hit the record button, it begins recording. To play back your recording, hit the play button. Welcome to Nearpod 101. If you're happy with it, you can hit save. If you're not happy with it, you can trash it and start over again. So we're going to click save. So now these changes will be saved, so when the student is viewing their Nearpod, you, they will be able to click on play and listen to the audio as part of this particular slide. Once you are done with your recording, you're going to click save and exit. You can also use the audio recorder as part of one of the Draw It activities. So if we double click on one of our Draw It activities, you can add a reference to this particular slide if you wanted to give more verbal directions as to what they were going to be doing on this Draw It slide. So if you come over here in the upper left hand side of your Draw It slide, you will see an option that says Audio Recorder. And this works the same way that it did on a traditional slide. You will click on Audio Recorder. Occasionally you will get a pop-up asking you to allow to use the microphone, which you will allow. And then you will do start your recording again by clicking on the recording button. In class, we learned about the 13 colonies. In the map that you are looking at, circle all of the colonies that we have learned about. And again, you can play back your recording. In class. And if you're happy with it, you would click Save. If you want to redo it, click the trash can, and then you can redo your recording. So we're going to click Save. And this recording feature over here for the students to listen back to will be available on the slide for them to press play and listen to your voice. Once you are done making the changes and recording your audio, you will again click Save so that all the changes that you have made to the slide will be saved and your audio will be included on that slide. One of the other activities where you can use voice recording is open-ended questions. So if you created an open-ended question slide, you can also give verbal direction or more instruction about what they're going to be doing on this. And again, it's at a reference just like we saw in the previous slide. It's just located in a different spot. So you click add a reference and again, audio recorder. You click record. You do your recording. You can listen back to it. And if you're happy with it, again, you will hit save or you will hit the trash can and you can redo your recording. You also have the capability of adding audio to quizzes. So if you did include a quiz as part of your Nearpod, again, if you open that up, you will be able to add recordings next to each question. You don't have to do it for every question, but if you wanted to give um, some additional material or additional information, you can click add a reference next to each question that you add to Nearpod. And again, you have that audio recorder feature here. You can do your recording, you save it, and save the entire slide by clicking save down at the bottom and all of your recordings will be then embedded as part of your quiz for the students to listen to as they are taking the quiz. Now that you've made changes to your slides and you have added your audio to a number of different slides for your students, if you would like to see what it's going to look like on the student end, you can come down to the bottom of your slides and click on preview and this will show you a student preview of what it will look like from the student perspective. So you can see here your audio recordings that you made on slides will appear at the bottom of each slide and all the students need to do is hit play. Welcome to Nearpod. And they will be able to hear your voice and listen to anything that you have embedded in any one of your slides. To get out of student preview, you're just going to click on the X in the upper right hand side 
And then once you are completely done working on this Nearpod with all of the different slides that you've added audio to, make sure you click Save and Exit so that all of your changes have been saved. And then this will bring you back to your Nearpod home screen um, where you can get ready to share your Nearpod lesson with your students.